Hi, welcome to Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop and creating vertical gradients. Now, depending how you define what is vertical, now this gradient to me is a vertical gradient as much as this gradient is a vertical gradient. But this, I'm going to go all the way through this video, vertical gradient going down like that. Hold down the shift and create the vertical gradient that way. However, if your interpretation of vertical is the other way, simply just do it crossways. That's just the easiest way of doing it. I never know. Sometimes when I'm doing these things, I think, you know what? Is it one person's vertical, horizontal? Now, let's go back and how to create a vertical gradient, assuming the approach. I'm just going to get rid of those ones. Now, select a gradient over here. You can select the gradient and straight away, you've got a gradient design there. Gradient tool, that's the key one, and I'm using normal, and I'm using linear, or you could use reflected, just as easy as well. And simply then just drag down, and you can start anywhere. You don't have to start at the top, you can if you want. You can start right at the top as well, further beyond the top of the document, or right below. Doesn't matter. Of course, where you actually end up with your lines will depend on the origin point and the length you create. So you can see then, you've got this like, purple there, Purple extends all the way down. That's obviously here, it looks like it's very little. But if you just did it from top to bottom, then you can see the purple ends up like that. So, I mean, it just really depends on where you create. And you can create very, very thin. Key thing always is hold down the shift. And again, if you want it the other way, if that's your interpretation of vertical, that's fine as well. But I'm just straight down. Now, what you can also do, you can create more complex designs. So you can also go here to blend modes and you've got normal and I'm going to go with difference and simply just drag again down there and then you can create a variety of different designs very quickly and easily using vertical gradients again. Now what you can also do, you don't have to use the same one of course, I'm using the same one over and over again, but I can also just simply go and say select that green one there, green and white and again apply that on top of there and you can see you can create a variety of different designs that way. Again, all vertical. Also, of course, what you can do, you can always add a layer on top or maybe go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and recolor the design. So you can see you can go run through there. Must admit, sometimes the results are never that great, but it, there is that option to do it. What you can also do, click there. You've also got a lovely feature here of gradient type and you can put noise, so you can get a variety of noise and you can vary it numerous ways just by changing these sliders. You can also restrict colors, do many things like that. Roughness, you can change that, make it very smooth by putting it down to zero, or make it very rough, 100%. And then of course, you can apply it then. And you can apply it multiple times and you again create this lovely vertical gradient again. You can put it the other way around, 90 degrees. What you can also do, with your gradient, you can always go over here to the rectangular marquee tool and just select. So you just select a part of an area like that and then copy and paste. Control C and Control V, so edit, copy and then paste. You've got that. And now of course what you've got, you've got a lovely design, another vertical gradient. And you can hold down the ultra option key and duplicate that design. So simply just apply that across the image. And now what you can also do, it's a layer, it's a standard layer. You can go to layer, layer style, and maybe add a drop shadow to your design. So you can create another vertical gradient that way. And again, hold down the ultra option key, and you can duplicate the design like that. And again, you can flatten that design. Now what you can also do, you can use vertical gradients via fill layers as well. That's another option. So just gonna, Put this to black, so fill, white. What you can do, gradients. Key thing here is gradients. And if you want it to be a vertical gradient, you can set the linear gradient over here. And you can simply drag that gradient design there. And you can see straight away, it's from purple all the way down to orange. And that's that gradient there. Maybe this one. You can drag that one, orange to yellow. And you can always change them. If you don't want that angle, you can always go over here to the layers, double click, and you can bring up there, and you can change the angle, say, to zero. So it's going that way. Or you can change it all the way around, flip it 
that way and you've got the yellow there down to orange there. So that's another way of quickly creating a nice vertical gradient in Photoshop. Now you can use vertical gradients in other ways as well. Say you've got an image. Now I haven't got an image in front so I'm just going to select an image. Well, let's just go with what I've got here. Let's just create something quickly. It's probably easier. Can't see an image there. So I've got a design. So you've got a design here. A couple of designs. Just assume that that's a person or whatever. <laughs> Very quick. Maybe you don't want to apply the gradient to the whole thing to completely obliterate it. So if you go over here now, if I go to the gradient tool, apply it like that. So what blending mode of difference. So let's just go normal. Just do that. It clears it. Well, I don't want that. What I want to do is have a bit of a fade in the thing. So it's like you've got a sky or something. You want to change. So what you can do, click over here. And you've got here, gradient stops. Well, you can just change that. Go over here to this one. And you can set that to 0%. So what happens? You get some nice transparency for your gradient. Click OK. And now, again, from top to bottom or upwards, you can simply just go apply it. And as you do that, you can see what happens. You end up transparency for this bit. This bit obviously covers the image completely. So again, oops, don't want to do that. You can do it the other way as well. And so on and so on. Also, what you can also do with gradients, of course, vertical gradients. If you want a vertical gradient, you can use a shape. That's another option as well. Simply go over here to the shape tools. There's like the rectangle tool. Select a rectangle. Now, as long as you're using shape over there, you can go over here to fill and then you can select the gradient there and you can see straight away you've got linear there's a linear there you can use reflected of course as well and you can see it's set to 90 so it oh, will set to 90 by default set that to 90 there and it's a vertical gradient then and of course what you can do with these shapes you can always again hold down the alter option key and duplicate them so you can quickly create all kinds of different vertical gradient designs like that. Now another thing you can do, you can use vertical gradients with like type as well. So you can quickly go over here to some type, set type tool, and let's just create something type. Just drag that out there. And now to add a vertical gradient to type, to keep it live, the key thing is just use layer styles. You could, of course, try and apply a gradient to this. Unfortunately, you'll end up with a not alive design. So it's something you can't edit later. So layer, this is the best way of doing it. So layer and layer style and gradient overlay. And now you can see there, obviously I've got radial as default, but linear. So I go for linear and you can see straight away, again, I've got that vertical gradient. So I've got type, the word type, black, to white and you can see black to white there linear that's the key thing linear there for the vertical gradient now what you can do of course you can always just select that hold down the ultra option key and duplicate the design so you can create a nice sort of vertical gradient type design and of course you can always go back to this gradient so layer style simply go over here layers you can just quickly click double click on there to bring up the thing and of course you can change the gradient you can always go for another gradient so you can see the design there now that has got difference on so i don't want difference i want normal so you can see again you've got your orange you've got your all the way through to your purple and it's vertical you've got your linear design there now you can also you can move it up and down you can move it we'll see like that doesn't make any difference by moving it that way and you also, if you decide you know, want it the other way around, you can just simply put it that way around and you can then drag that up. And then hold down the Ultra Option key again and you can duplicate that linear design. Now you can also use linear vertical gradients, say in like in masking. So if you want to mask this design, so you've got a design here, what you can do, you can always go to a layer and you've got layer mask and reveal all. So you've got some type selected there type selected and you can see there you've got a thumbnail outside so we'll select the thumbnail like that and then you can simply go over to the gradients again you've got a gradient there and apply it to this and again vertical hold down the shift key so it's vertical or crossways if you think that and you can see what happens then 
you can fade the design away. So it's literally been masked, so you can just sort of make it more transparent. You can see it through, and you can see the result there. And of course, you can vary this in numerous ways. You can select that one. That's normal again, and you can so you can create all kinds of different type effects very quick and easy like that. And you can of course, once you've done that design, you're happy with that. You can always move that design around. Cube case, it's just chopped at the top. So you can create another vertical gradient effect. The type and so on and so on. Whole range of different type designs, vertical designs and all things can be done with gradients and just basically the shift. Shift key, make certain the shift key so you can drag it down like that way. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finity Photo, Finity Designer and many other applications. If you've got any questions, please put some comments, always appreciated. Just anything that I've done too quick to maybe I didn't explain it well enough, please let me know, always appreciated. Also a dislike or like, either way is always great. Also please check out the Graphic Extras website, always adding lots of tutorials on this. I've got a tutorial on this vertical gradient there and I will add some additional things. Quite often I update that. Obviously the video, I can't update so much. <laughs> I can't update at all because what you have to do, I just have to create another video on top of obviously of an existing one, which is always a pity. Anyway, thank you much.